Good morning, everybody. It is, uh, what is today? 8th of November. And as you can clearly see, we got ourselves uh, some snow to go on top of the snow that we already had. It's uh, six something in the morning. Out here doing a little shoveling. I'm supposed to get another, uh, well, in all honesty, it's supposed to snow for the foreseeable future. You can hear it, the plows and the forklifts, or not forklifts, the s snow lifts. Um, here in Valdez are working, working pretty good. But we're supposed to get snow for the foreseeable future, uh, according to the weather. So out here, shoveling up what I can before, uh, before we get uh... I mean last year they had 400 some odd inches of snow and so far we've gotten oh I don't know maybe 25 inches so far this year a lot of it melted because uh, we had some good sunshine the past couple days but as you can see it's starting to come back so, doing some shoveling. Well, haven't really been out hunting or fishing because this is the weather we got. So, just uh, driving around, getting some, uh, getting some video, just showing Valdez in the winter. Well, there's a flock of ducks out there. And uh, this is uh, Valdez looking across the bay at Valdez from the salmon spot over here on uh, Allison Point. Just a lot of snow, beginning of the season. So. Good morning again. Different day, just out driving around today. Going up to the pass just to see uh, what kind of snow is up there? It's not snowing here, so we got a little bit of rain. But uh, yeah, just driving around today, see what I can see. Heading into uh, Keystone Canyon here, outside Valdez. Now this is a pretty interesting area because you got the the river right there on your right, over there, and just all closes in around you. You got a couple of uh, waterfalls up here. Some pull-offs are pretty neat. Actually, there's one straight ahead of us. But, uh, there's no one behind us, good. So we'll slow down, come over here, take a gander. I might come up here and try fly fishing this winter. There you go, that's Horsetail Falls when it's uh, the winter. That one is Bridal Vale Falls, which is all frozen over. Anyways, as I was saying, I might come up here and try fly fishing. Apparently there's a bunch of uh, Dolly Varden and Grayling that live in the uh, river over here to our right. So, the water's low enough now and it's not silty. Get in there, probably not going to catch much. But hopefully we can get a, a few things here and there once in a while. So, just driving. A lot of snow up here in the pass. Digging it pretty slow. But, uh, yeah, really pretty. I don't even know if I can get over Blueberry Lake. I'm going to say it's probably not going to happen. Oh yeah, no, that's not happening. Yeah, Blueberry Lake is uh, all socked up for the year. I guess unless you get back there on a snow machine. 
outside of that, just pretty. This here is just a little bit up from the pass. There's a lake over there. Uh, underneath all that, snow. Just uh, a lot of snow up here. A lot of snow. Hasn't really gotten down to Valdez. We got some. Uh, I think I was out there one day and I don't know, probably about seven, eight inches, ten inches came down. But uh, not like this. I guess this is actually fairly light for up here. It'll get a lot worse come uh, later on in the year. Uh, wait and see. So there's, um, I think that one's Bridal Vale Falls. As you can see, there's still water that runs underneath of it. But I guess when it gets uh, December, January, February, that's pretty much frozen. Not solid, but close to it. As close as you can get it. So, they got ice climbers that climb these. You never see me do that. No way. But, there you go. Oh, bad time turning the camera, but there's uh, bald eagles right over in this area. I don't know if you can see them on the branch out there. There's one. I already passed two more, so that's three. Let's count, shall we? Three. I know there's more here. I know there's a bunch more in here. Oh, four or five. Six. Seven, eight, nine. One up there, that's ten. Eleven, twelve. I'll say if there are more, I was driving past here a little bit ago. I got twelve, thirteen. Sixteen. Yeah, three right there. Seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. There's none. Twenty. So we're at twenty now. A little maintenance. 
this guy fix up there. There's 21 up in that tree there. Nope. Oh, yeah, they are. That one's a male ska or bluebill, whatever you want to call it, I guess. Um, there's a female there with them. This place has got a ton of birds, waterfowl in this area. And you got more way out there. You can't really see those ones, though. Well, there's about five or six way out there. Not sure what those ones are. So, keep going. So this here is one of the uh, ponds on the other side of the road from the uh, ocean. And uh, this fills up at high tide and the low tide. And of course you got some streams coming in there. But you got tons of mallards over there. And there are a bunch on the other side as well. 